Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to another Juice TV virtual visit. We are so excited to have you guys watching along. First virtual visit for the year. So we know we are starting off with a bang. My name is Pri and I'm from the Juice crew and I would love to welcome our hosts who are actually going to be running today's show and giving us an incredible time. So please, can you welcome Lewis and his sister, Brooke. Yay! Yay! Yes. Woohoo! Hello, Lewis. Hello, Brooke. How are you guys going today? I'm going well, good. you. Very good. Thank you, guys. So, Lewis and Brooke, mm. tell us a little bit about yourselves. You guys are brothers and sisters. Is that correct? Yeah. He's awesome. older than me. Ooh, how much older are you talking? Four years. Four years, four years mm -hmm. older, Lewis. Love it. Oh, that's so good. And Lewis, have you had a good morning so far? Yes. Yes. Are you so excited about today's virtual visit? Yes. Yes. And Brooke, what about you? Did you have a big breakfast in preparation for today? Yes, I did. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, we'll get to our special guests in just a second, but you guys are no strangers to Juice TV. You guys have actually both been on Juice TV before. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Oh, so guys, tell us a little bit about what you've done. What was kind of the first segment that you remember shooting with Juice TV? We've done something about our sister dog, Bouncer. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your dog. Uh, she's an assistant dog. Um, we got her a while back and then she just became our best friend. Oh, she looks absolutely beautiful. And there you guys are now heading over to Movie World. What was Movie World all about? Mm -hmm. um, about the stunt car show that they... Um, do and we went behind the scenes and asked questions. Oh, how good. And look, Lewis, you're in the driver's seat. And here you yeah. guys are now. Yes. At the Brisbane Heat. How was that? What was the highlight of going to the actual Brisbane Heat team, the Gabba, the mascots? Oh, I love meeting the players, but Lewis definitely loved meeting Heater, the mascot. Yeah. How cool is the mascot, Lewis? Do you just love him? He's so cool. He is. He is. And do you know what's even more epic? You guys are wearing your Brisbane Heat shirts. Is that correct? Can you give us a little show? Yes. Yeah. So good. So good. Well, do you know what? That transitions seamlessly to our guest today because we are so, so excited to welcome two players from the Brisbane Heat team. Oh, yeah! We are so, so excited to welcome Xavier Bartlett and James Baisley. Please welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Brooke. How you guys going? James and Xavier. Hey, guys. So we've got James. Give us a wave. Hey, James. And we've got, we've got Xavier. Give us a wave. Hey, guys. Beautiful. And Lewis and Brooke, they are massive fans. And we know so many people watching are also massive fans. So Lewis and Brooke have prepared some epic questions for you guys. So I'm just going to leave it to them. Brooke, Lewis, over to you guys. Okay. Who was the most hardest batsman to bowl, bowl to in the season? Oh, guys. Um, what do you reckon? You go. Um, Brooke, I don't know if you know a guy called Mitchell Marsh from the Perth Scorchers. Um, he's very yeah. hard to bowl to, and he hit me for a few very big sixes, unfortunately. But there's lots of hard people to bowl to, definitely. Yeah. What about you, Xavier? Um, oh, there's so many, like they said. Um, I think one of the hardest ones is in our own team in the Nets with Chris Lynn. Um, every time you go into the Nets and you're bowling to him, you're, just, you're thankful that he doesn't hit one back at you. But, um, yeah, there's so many amazing players, and probably this year for me, the hardest player was Sam Billings from the Thunder. Mm. Yeah. 
And hey, Lewis, what have you got there? Show us. A bat. A bat. Wow, Lewis. So what good. kind of bat is it? Can you show the camera? Yeah, nice. I'm excited to hit some big sixes, Lewis. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> do you do you do you play backyard cricket with Brooke? Yes. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's good. Will you guys go out to play? Is it harder to um, bat against the spit more experienced spinners or the young gun spinners? Xavier and I could both probably work on our verse and spin in general, um, can't we, Zave? Yeah, definitely. It's not the easiest, that's for sure. Yeah. So I think if they're experienced or they're young, um, spinners can be a little bit hard. Personally, for me, it's a it's an area of my batting game that I want to improve on. But um, look, as we said before, there's there's some really experienced bowlers out there, and they certainly can be. Um, they can come through in those more high pressure moments, Brooke, if you know what I mean, when, when the game's on the line a little bit more, it helps having that more experience, doesn't it? And the young guys can, can only learn and get more experience from being in those situations. So probably the more experienced players are a little bit harder. Yeah. What main skill do you focus on in the off season? Um, yeah, great question. I think, I think the season's, um, come and go quite fast so it's kind of just taking some time away from the game and um, then really knuckling down and really working on those areas that I want to improve on in my game like James said um, for both of us is really working on facing spin and um, for my bowling in particular I really want to work on my variations going into next season. So what about you guys just interjecting for a second you said that you play mm. backyard cricket so Lewis and Brooke what are your positions do you guys bat or do you guys bowl? I bowl, but I normally get hit for a few sixes over the fence. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes. Me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Does Lewis what make you do that, Yeah, he does. And he, so and he sometimes bowls. Okay. He doesn't aim for the stumps. He more aims for your head, so he does a bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. Vicious. Did you guys want to ask your other questions? Yeah. Um, did you play any other sports when you were a kid? Yeah. Um, I played a lot of sports, Brooke. Uh, I played a lot of sports at school, I guess, yeah. You play your rugby, your soccer. Um, yeah, I played a lot of golf as well. I think it's really important for, for kids um, growing up to play lots of different sports. You learn lots of different skills, coordination and and teamwork and different aspects of communication. So I think it's really healthy um, to play lots of different sports. It's certainly very fun as well. Yeah. And I'm saying this on Lewis's mm. behalf. Um, have you ever been to Movie World? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, me personally, I live on the Gold Coast or grew up on the Gold Coast. Um, so I've been to Movie World um, one, one or 50 times. <laughs> But yeah, I love Movie World. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, just go on there. It doesn't matter what ride it is, what time of the year, if it's raining or, or if it's sunny. It's an amazing time. But my personal favourite is the uh, Superman. What about you guys? I'm kind of a ride person. I love going on the Joker and all those rides. Yeah, I'm certainly not a ride person. I'm, I'm the wet and wild kind of guy, you know what I mean? Just the yeah, cruisy, cruisy water slides. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Brooke, what's what the about new Joker ride like? Oh, I love it. I want to go, um, you can pay extra to go backwards, mm. but um, yeah. no one wants to do it with me, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Too scary. Not for me. Yeah. 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 What about you, Lewis? Do you like roller coasters? No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Not a fan. <laughs> I'm with and you, what Lewis. About you guys? I'm not a <laughs> maxing and relaxing in the pool I love it and yeah, Lewis and Brooke you guys definitely. asked a great question about other sports what about you guys do you have any secret talents in other sports well I play netball a lot um, the season oh, starting so I'm preparing for that what position are you in netball I'm mainly defense because I'm quite tall so I focus on that Very nice. yeah perfect that's good 
We won last season, so we're going into a good start. Oh, nice. You have to go up a higher division this season? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Might be a little bit more That'd challenging then. Yeah. Nice. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. Lewis also wants to find out what do you do at your weekends? Um, well, it sounds like... Sounds like Xavier goes to Movie World. Um, <laughs> um, I'm married, so I'm, I'm married this year. So usually in cricket season, I spend some time with my lovely wife, Jess, because cricket can be busy during the summer. Um, Jess and I like to go to the beach. We like to catch up with family and friends, um, maybe go for a walk, a little bush walk. We, like the, we love the outdoors. Um, so usually something that's quite active and, and outdoors. Yeah, very much the same. I absolutely love the beach as well. Yeah. Yeah. Love the beach as well. Why did you choose cricket as a sport? Um, yeah, like James said, um, growing up I've tried a lot of different sports. Um, mainly for me it was AFL and swimming um, and then obviously cricket. But yeah, just really enjoyed cricket, the team aspect. Um, and I just really enjoyed it growing up, so I think I think that were the, those are the factors. I was having more fun than the other sports, so I chose cricket. <laughs> yeah, nice. Why do you guys like cricket, Lewis? Why do you like cricket? Is it very fun coming to the heat games and seeing all the fireworks and the big hits? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's nice. And it's very loud, isn't it? Yes! Very loud. Lots happening. Have you ever been really close to a ball being hit near you? Wow. Brooke, Brooke, have you ever had to yeah. do a big crowd catch? No, my dad likes stealing his spell on that one. Oh, okay, dad jumps in, <laughs> dies and catches it. Yeah, it's commitment. Oh, ah, that's cool. Yeah, I was going to ask if you guys have been to a game recently. Uh, we've been to about four. One at Metricon and the other at Yeah, lovely. Awesome. Which ones did you prefer? <laughs> Maybe the Metricon because you guys won against the Renegades. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah, look, it was a good we, game. Need to, we, need to, we need to try and win a few more games. That's for sure. Um, especially for, for the fans like you guys are so supportive of us each and every year. So. It's disappointing when we lose, um, but we're doing our best and um, there'll be some good years ahead, won't there, Zave? Yeah. yeah, exactly right. Just hang in there and um, uh, come along to the Gabba and we'll win and see some fireworks. It'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah, but we enjoy your commitment to us as fans to always go out there for the show on. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank you very much. So what about you guys, Lewis and Brooke? Do you have any tips for Xavier and James and vice versa, James and Xavier? Do you guys have any hot tips for any cricket players out there? Yeah. Um, I think you just need to um, always believe that you know what you're doing, even if you get hit for more sixes. You know why you, you got selected and just believe into your skills. Oh, that's wonderful. So good. That's, That's awesome. perfect. That's perfect. Um, my only advice for Lewis would be is that it's great to bowl at Brooke's head, I guess you could say, but the odd ball at the stumps as well is going to get her out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's good. And keep, keep, hitting, keep hitting Brooke from big sixes, Lewis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh, no, so good, good. I absolutely love it. Well, you know what, guys? Brooke and Lewis are massive Brisbane Heat fans, but there's actually a ton of hospital superstars who are as well. And we actually have another sister and brother duo team out there. Now, they've sent in some special questions for you guys, James and Xavier. So I'd love to play them for you. First of all, you've got a question coming in from Isaac. Hi, guys. My name's Isaac. I was just wondering... How long do you guys train for? Yeah, good question, Isaac. Um, our training, it varies a little bit, but it, one of our big skill sessions will be go, will go for about three hours. 
um, and that consists of a warm-up together, maybe a little game together, and then some fielding together, and then we go into the nets, um, and we kind of have three different rotations where the batters and bowlers will rotate uh, between different game scenarios or facing spin, facing pace, but it's, it's quite a big session, it usually goes for around three hours, and and then we can have some, sometimes like um, like a gym session on, on the other day, which goes for about an hour and a half, so smaller sessions. So, um, yeah, we, we train a fair bit. Uh, we don't train all, all day, every day. We'll be exhausted, but our sessions are quite big and we really enjoy it. Nice, very nice. Three hours, that is a mighty long time. What do you guys reckon, mm. Lewis? It's a bit of a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but they're pretty strong. <laughs> so good. And from Isaac's sister, Abby, we also have a lovely question for you guys, Xavier and James. So this is Abby's question to you now. Hello, everybody. My name is Abby, and I love watching the Brisbane Heat because the players who play on the cricket field and score many points, including sixes, and the this been Heat Dance Crew, who do, who do the amazing dance moves. Hi James Baisley and Xavier Bartlett. I really, really miss you and I can't wait to see you again in the Gabba. My favourite mascot is Heater because he does the backflip. What's your favourite thing about Heater? And do you play cricket all year round? Or do you just play in the big bash? Oh, thanks, Abby. Um, yeah, the, the prison heat dance crew are amazing, aren't they? Um, I kind of find myself standing out there on the boundary and I'm um, just watching the heater and the dance crew go about their business. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing some of the stuff they can do. Um, but yeah, my favourite dance move from heater is definitely when he rips out his backflips. Um, it kind of makes me a bit jealous because I can't get near one. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, we do play cricket all year round pretty much. Um, we play for the Queensland Bulls as well through September to March and then obviously the Big Bash. But um, we get a couple months off in the winter and um, yeah, pretty much straight into it again. Beautiful. Thank you so much for answering that, you guys. And what about, I just wanted to know from Lewis and Brooke, can either of you guys do a backflip? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Nah. What about you, James? Any attempts? No, no, no. I'm flat out doing a somersault, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the Roll pros. Column. I love it. Oh, man, so good. Well, you know what? Abby and Isaac aren't the only fans. We've got a massive support team and an incredible um, amount of staff and kids at the Queensland Children's Hospital. And especially during this time, it's really isolating for them. And we just wanted to send them some love. They are all watching this and are massive fans of you guys, Xavier and James. So I was wondering if you guys had a little um, word of encouragement to share with the kids and the staff at the Queensland Children's Hospital. Um, James, I'll pass over to you first. Yeah, sure. Um, look, yeah, keep smiling, guys. Um, I know I can probably speak on behalf of Xavier and I. We, we love doing things like this because it gives us great perspective of, you know, the what we do as cricketers and, and the people we can influence and the smiles on the faces that we can put. So um, that means a lot to us that we can put lots of smiles on, on your faces and um, stay positive. Um, yeah, we really appreciate, appreciate your support as well. So thank you. Beautiful words. Thank you so much, James. And Xavier, do you have any some words as well for them? Yeah, hey guys. Um, yeah, just want to say you guys are a massive inspiration to me personally. Um, it's awesome to see you guys fighting it out there and um, hanging in there and you're just your positive and your good vibes and all the smiles we see. Um, it's amazing to do and it brings a tear to my eye. So um, yeah, hang in there, guys, and we'll be sure to see you soon. And um, hopefully the Brisbane Heat can put on a show and some smiles on your faces. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. So nice. And Lewis and Brooke, you guys have had some epic questions this morning. Just before we say goodbye, was there any final words that you guys had for James and Xavier? Oh, well, thank you for your time to um, come here and answer our questions for the kids in the hospital mm -hmm. and for the and to bring joy to them. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well said, Bill. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, you very much, guys. I think James and, might actually um, have a uh, present for you here, Lewis and Brooke. Yeah, yeah, Lewis and Brooke, we're going to give you a nice little shiny Brisbane Heat helmet. We've got some signatures on it there. Yeah! So this will be coming to you, this will be coming to you very shortly, so um, it's, it's the least we can do to say thanks for all the support from you guys, so thank you again. Yes! What do you think about Lewis? Is that so exciting? Yeah! <laughs> Yes! Where are you going to wear your helmet, Lewis? On my head. On your head, of course! <laughs> Come on, are you going to wear it bro. around the house? Are you going to wear it to the shops? I don't know where you wear these helmets. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, good. Yeah. What was that, Lewis? Everywhere, yeah. Everywhere. He said everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, I absolutely love it. I love it. Lewis, you're going to have to send everybody some pictures, especially James and Xavier, pictures of you and your helmet everywhere and your bat. Does that sound good? Yes. <laughs> yes, so good. Well, thank you guys so much. Again, from Juice TV, we want to say a massive thank you for everyone watching along. Xavier and James, thank you so much for your time and good luck out there. And Lewis and Brooke, you guys have been sensational hosts. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see everyone on another Juice TV virtual visit very soon. See you later, everyone. Bye for now. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Bye.